Ooh, yes, it's another, another food art with Sprig Burton. We're making chip cuts in our apple today. First, we make a V-shaped pattern doing two stop cuts, straight down, straight down, and then angle with a relief cut. Down, down, relief. Clean that up, it's a little messy. Oh, good girl, yeah. So that's all this apple is going to be, is woodcut practicing. If you want to practice your chip cuts and you don't have a piece of beech or, you know, whatever it is that you want to use. I know pine's too common to use, isn't it? What else is there that's a bit harder than pine? Well, it's good to practice on apple. You don't have real wood, try this. It's quite impressive too, I mean, wow, look at that. Who would not be impressed with this awesome apple? Wow, everybody together, awesome, awesome, yes. Okay, keep going. Let's make some more chip cuts. Sometimes while you're doing this or while you're watching me do it, you can just Relax and let your mind wander, wander into the recesses and remember things from the past. Why do we make chip cuts? Why did they used to do it in the old days? What is old days? Ooh, this is really, really, really interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, and we're going to do the whole apple. Can you possibly watch the entire thing? Well, I'm going to speed it up, so don't worry. It's going to get fast. Maybe faster than you can see. This right here is three times speed. And here we go, 30 times speed. Look at that knife go, look at that. Oh, so fast, oh, so perfect and awesome. Yes, it's food art at its finest. And can you tell which apple is in the picture behind? Is this apple? Well, actually this apple is in the picture behind itself. Which one is it? Which one is it? I don't know, I don't remember, but it's there. Yeah. It was there. Ooh, so that was a fun food art, wasn't it? Ooh, why don't you click to subscribe or to watch another one? Or just click, click away.